Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. In the midst of this ammo shortage, I call it a crisis, there are a lot of scammers out there. There are posers. Of course, we have resellers, and we see the price out the roof for ammo. But it's not like that in all places. I have people contact me and say, hey, you know, my local gun store where I'm at, they're selling ammo at regular prices like there's nothing going on. And then other places, it's near impossible to get. You go online, you see the biggest ripoffs online, and people are all trying to capitalize on the shortage. On Instagram, it's like the worst, okay? So you've got these, these clowns who have just a name, not the name of a gun store, but they're posing as a gun store. And then when you look at their profile, it doesn't even have a website. It has an email address. Now, anytime a gun store is advertising, whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, or anywhere else, they want to shoot out their, their website. They want to drive traffic to the website. It cuts down on the phone traffic, and they're able to show what they have and how much it is and they have payment options on there and all kinds of stuff you know go to the website these are individuals with just normal names and they look like just a normal person who is looking to unload a bunch of ammo that gives the viewer the idea that they they're about to get a great score like i'm going to get this great score of ammo because i know there's ammo out there and this guy has it now these are nothing more than images stolen stolen off uh, from online sources they post it on instagram and you tend to think wow i think i found my source for ammo so i decided to reach out to this one clown in particular i have to admit initially i was like whoa this guy t seems to have a lot of ammo but it didn't take long before i realized with just a name on there no website an email address and direct message right back instantly i said hey do you ship yes sir will you you know how will you get it out right away yes sir what are you looking for sir now as soon as somebody overuses the word sir that tells me immediately they're overseas okay perhaps not in this case but i get this all the time where people contact me and they want me to to sell or to make a video on their cheap Amazon Chinese made product. It, it happens daily actually. And they overuse the word sir. So to me, that's an alert, right? You're going to call me sir 10 times in an email. I don't think so. And so this, this poser got call me, sir. What do you want, sir? So I decided to go back and forth with them. And I said, well, how about that case of blazer brass for $319 for a thousand rounds. Now, a couple years ago, we'd say 319, that's way too much. In today's world, it's a steal. You know, if you can get a thousand rounds of nine millimeter for 319, that's a steal. He gets back with me immediately and says, how about 250? Now, right away, I'm thinking this is the biggest scam I've ever seen. That's why I'm on here right now. I don't want you to fall for it because one, he doesn't have a email address from a gun store secondly he's already dropping the price for me off of one direct message on instagram and so i said okay well i'll take five cases will you ship it out yes sir i'll ship it out immediately 9 30 this morning yeah right how do i pay well you can pay using paypal imperfectly perfect or perfectly some clown name on paypal now if i were to actually do this i would send that money off to paypal that goes to that person and i just got ripped off in this case it would have been 1250 dollars. i told him i'll take five cases in his mind score i got me a sucker you know one of these gun nut suckers are going to send me a whole bunch of money and get nothing and that's basically what it comes down to these people are posing as having huge inventories of ammo and that exact thing that we need. Another point, I decided to go through their photos and read the comments. Other posers or that same person with a different account said, hey, thanks a lot for the ammo. It's such a great deal. At first, I was a little worried, but it came the very next day. Oh, it's such a, you know, I, I'm going to continue to do business with you. 
all of which is nothing more than a ploy to gain confidence from this fake source. All right, so what are we doing? We are, most of us are out there looking for ammo, looking for deals on ammo, which are seldom available, and we're looking for sources, something that we could, a place we could continually go back to to replenish our supply. And then we get into desperate mode where it also becomes an emotional thing. Hey, I got the score. You know, I, I got I got my place. I found my my source where I can get ammo at a good deal at pre-pandemic prices, by the way. Oh yes, great deals. And then you, you'll never see it again. So be careful. It's the reason I'm making this video. There are scammers out there. They're posing as if they have inventory. They have nothing. They have nothing more than a computer and an Instagram account and a PayPal account looking to rip you off. And imperfectly perfect is the clown I dealt with. And of course, I didn't send them one dime because I knew from the beginning this was nothing more than a scam. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.